Hey everybody, it's your friend and your guy and the YouTuber you shouldn't take seriously because he likes Star Trek Beyond. What a loser. Gardner, the Linux gamer. This episode of the show is brought to you as always by my gracious Patreon contributors. My top tier Singularity members get special recognition at the beginning of each video. So thank you to Dr. Nima Panahi. Your support is truly humbling. Oh my God, we've got some big news right now. Um. Frickin' uh, Purism has released a bunch of videos about the Librem 5 phone. Now, they're all kind of short, but uh, they get me so excited. So let's talk about these videos, shall we? So this is from the CEO and founder of Purism, Todd Weaver. And this this is all about the Librem 5 phone. They're showing off the, uh, the, the Librem 5 goodness. Boy, howdy does this get me uh, all hot and bothered. So I'll just I'll just read you the the minimal amount of copy that is available <laughs> Uh, in this video, uh, in this blog post, the Purism team is making a remarkable progress to deliver the Librem Five phone. Oh, it does say that. Now it probably should say the, the the Purism team is making remarkable progress to deliver the Librem Five phone. But you know what? Whatever, dude. I'm excited. <laughs> Nothing shows the progress uh, we have been making quite as clearly as a demonstration of the Librem 5 status from the dev kit itself. So let's take you through a handful of short videos showcasing the current possibilities and developments of the Librem 5 dev kit. Okay, so here we go. Uh, the first thing here is that um, they show that the phone boots in less than 10 seconds. Now. The phone that I'm currently using is the uh, the uh, Google Pixel XL. Let's just try and turn this on from from a cold boot here. We're gonna, we're gonna turn on. There we go. All right, we're we're gonna time this. I'm gonna add this in post the uh, the actual time signature. We've already passed the 10 second mark. There we go. 20 seconds, maybe? I don't know how long that was. You tell me in the comments. <laughs> Let's watch this video from, from, uh, the, from the Librem 5 project. And this is, the, this is the dev kit. This isn't even the final product yet. Watch this. Boom, right there. Less than 10 seconds. That was like six seconds. The video is only seven seconds long. That's awesome. It's, it boots in less than 10 seconds. Which, you know, how often do you actually shut your phone off? But if you're a paranoid boy, like I am, and y you know, you don't like having your phone on uh, all the time, you shut it off and then it, turn it on, turns on in less than 10 seconds. That is truly remarkable and I am, uh, I'm pretty stoked about that fact. Uh, the next video uh, that they shared is incoming calls. Now this one's only four seconds long, but uh, let's watch it together. I hope that's not the final ringtone. <laughs> Let's turn the volume down because that blistered my ears. Uh, incoming call. That's a, that's a, a sexy GNOME uh, incoming call app. That's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, then we have SMS messages being sent and received. So uh, let's watch this one together. Hello. Awesome. That's pretty cool. Uh, there's a phone number. I'm going to blur that out. They didn't blur that out. <laughs> uh, and then we have web browsing. So, so far what we've seen are like custom pieces of software for the Librem 5. Like we have the, the, the text messaging app and the incoming call app or the, you know, the phone app. But then we get to the browser and video playback. And this is where I get really stoked because this thing comes with empathy and I've been considering uh, switching over to empathy from uh, Firefox just because it's GTK and I love GNOME 3 apps. This is just super, super exciting. All right, let's play this video. Let's just watch it and I'll shut up. The future of computing. Dang. Dang, guys. That's incredible stuff. Purism uh, have uh, the, the empathy browser running on this thing. Uh, it looks like it's connected to 3G here, which is really awesome. The, uh, the empathy browser um, just looks like it behaves fantastically on this device. It performs well. The, the video was playing back. Um, 
man, this is going to be just an amazing device. I can't wait to get this in my hands. I'm so tired of carrying around this, this spy brick. Uh, and the final video here is uh, the Librem 5 making a phone call dev kit to dev kit. And uh, this is, they build this video as the, the really awesome one that never fails to amaze. So let's watch this together. Phone, phone call, one phone is calling. And then, and then the other one picks up. <laughs> and wow, yeah, that is really impressive. That gets me so stoked, dude. Uh, again, with the phone numbers, not obscuring them. But yeah, this is so cool. This is like, this is incredible stuff. I can't wait to get my hands on this thing. Yeah, I don't know. I'm really, really stoked about this, guys. I, I can't wait to get my hands on this device because it just looks incredible. Uh, the, and, uh, you know, the, the, the dev kits are, are just a bare PCB with a screen. And, uh, you know, they're going to shrink it down into like a more uh, traditional style. It has a replaceable battery. It's running GNOME 3 by default, PureOS by default. Uh, it's going to come with a with a flat pack based um, app store, which is so exciting to me. Uh, oh, my God, you guys, I can't wait to get my hands on this. It's coming out in quarter three, which is only a couple months away. And uh, boy, oh, boy, I'm excited. I want to know what you guys think. Do you have, have you pre-ordered your Librem 5? Are you going to wait and hold out and see what, uh, what comes, uh, after it's released? Uh, let me know down in the comments or hit me up on Twitter at the Linux gamer. But yeah, I think that's going to be it for now. If you believe in the work that I do, you can support this show with a monthly contribution over on Patreon, or you can pick up a t-shirt. There's a link down below, but no matter what you do, whether you hit that like button or share this video with your friends, don't forget to subscribe to see more from me, the Linux gamer. And as always, thanks for watching.